I'm not going to go through all the details here, but just a note, right? So if we did the same thing for oil, right? So if we had now our 1D core that we're going to flow oil through, and we look at if we look at this guy, then what we're going to have to write is now the the mass coming in of the oil in the oleic phase plus the mass coming in of the volatilized oil in the gaseous phase. Because right? we're writing the mass balance on oil. Okay? And then what comes out would be the, the changes. Okay. But we, you know, I said we're going to make the assumption that there's no volatilized oil in the gaseous phase. So then you just have one thing coming in, one thing coming out, namely oil. Uh, and so when you write the, the you know, when you write the mass balance, I'll just spare you the all the details, but you know, eventually you just get the same type of equation. The density of the oil. Now let's take a look at the, the formation volume factor for oil. BO is the reservoir volume of the oleic phase. And this includes oil plus dissolved gas. Over the stock tank oleic phase. And this is oil only. Right? And you know, that's because when you have when you have the oleic phase in the reservoir under pressure, you're going to have dissolved, you can have, not necessarily, if it's below the bubble point, you'll have dissolved gas in the oil. But as soon as you begin to produce the reservoir and you take it, the reservoir above the, 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 drops below the bubble point, the pressure, then you're going to have gas coming out of solution, right? And then when you take it to the surface, all the gas is going to come out of solution, right? All the gas is going to come out of solution. And so by the time you get to the surface, you're just going to have oil in the oleic phase. Okay. And that's really what you care about. I mean, ultimately, we want to solve these equations in the reservoir, but we want to know how much oil, oil we produce at the surface. That's what we care about. So we're going to write that as the, in the reservoir conditions. Standard conditions, which is going to be so. Let's let's write the mass of the oleic phase. The mass of the oleic phase under reservoir conditions is the density times the volume, and that's equal to the density of oil at the standard conditions plus the density of gas in standard conditions times the volume of dissolved gas under standard conditions. So if we divide this equation by the volume of the oleic phase, under reservoir conditions,
It's coming. That's coming. Yeah. It's in fact coming right here. So we, we're going to do a little trick on this term. We're going to multiply by 1. I always like to do that. Everybody agree I'm just multiplying by 1 there? But if I do that, then I can look at this term, right? And let's look at it in words. The, the formation <coughs> volume factor for oil is the reservoir volume of the oleic phase divided by the stock tank oleic phase, right? So that's, that's one, what I've circled in blue there is at 1 over BO. over BO, because again, this is the reservoir volume of the oleic phase, this is the reservoir volume of oil, stock tank, right? and so then this then right here is your RS, right, your solution of gas oil ratio, that's what you're looking for. So that's the volume of dissolved gas at surface conditions divided by the volume of oil at surface conditions. Right, and that's what we have right here, volume of dissolved gas at surface divided by oil at surface. Okay. So then if we, using those definitions, write this, we have So this is our density of oil in the reservoir, and this is the density of dissolved gas in the reservoir. So then using that, our oil mass balance equation becomes You're just basically plugging in for density of oil in the reservoir. So that's the second equation. 